After months of campaigning, Election Day in Mobile is here. The polls open at 7 this morning and will close in about two hours. Fox 10 News live team coverage of the mayoral race continues. Reporter Steve Alexander is covering the Sam Jones campaign, while Renee Diles is with Sandy Stimson's camp. Let's start with Andrew Perez. He joins us live from Mobile's Government Plaza, where the absentee ballot count is underway. Andrew? In Plaza, so that you guys can get a better look at what election officials have been dealing with. I want you guys to take a look right in here. Election officials, they got back from a break a very short time ago, and they continue to sort through absentee ballots, making sure all the information is correct, making sure the names, addresses, everything matches up. We should start seeing results shortly after 7 o'clock tonight. Election officials began documenting absentee ballots just after noon. It began with the name of each of the nearly 4,000 ballots read out loud. Election officials are spending their afternoon verifying and scanning each and every one. Once all of the ballots are scanned, then it's just like it, as if you were in a regular polling place. The uh, room is locked and I have an officer that will stand outside the door and till 7 o'clock. Election officials say they treat this office at Government Plaza like a a regular polling place. They'll check each ballot and make sure they've been properly filled out. Any spoiled ballots are shown to attorneys for both mayoral campaigns and then set aside. It's a strict process that's needed, especially now as the U.S. Postal Inspectors continue to investigate possible voter fraud involving suspicious ballots coming through the mail. Fox 10 News has heard of numerous complaints so far from voters who were told they had already voted. If the voters list is showing that they have voted an absentee ba ballot. It's because in our office, when you apply for an absentee ballot and we mail a ballot out to you, you're coded as having voted absentee. If that um, turns out to be incorrect, then you can, I mean, while you're there, you can vote a provisional ballot. The city clerk says provisional ballots are saved till the end and cross checked to make sure they're legitimate. Election officials say at 7 p.m., they'll pull the official absentee numbers off the voting machine and will announce them to you. Yeah, now, as far as the postal inspector's investigation into possible voter fraud, I'm told investigators needed officials to open up these absentee ballots in the first place so that they can continue and move forward with their investigation. Tonight, everything is going to be happening in the Mobile City Council Auditorium here at Government Plaza, not just the results for absentee ballots after 7 o'clock, but also all the races are going to be announced in there. You can bet Fox 10 News will be there as well and bring you the latest as it happens. For now, reporting live outside Government Government Plaza. I'm Andrew Perez. Back to you. All right. Thank you, Andrew. We also heard about some potential problems.